This is module one, lesson three, on the back. Today's objective was to interpret the meaning of factors, the size of the group or the number of the groups. Number three, <clears throat> there are four bananas in each row. How many bananas are there in blank rows? So the first thing I need to determine is how many rows there are. Rows go across. So when I look, I can count one row, two rows, three rows, four rows. There are four rows of bananas. Letter A, number of rows. We just talked about that. The number of rows is four. Size of each row. Now we're going to count how many bananas there are in a row. One, two, three, four. There are four bananas in a row. B, I have a blank times four. When I multiply, I multiply my number of rows times my size. My number of rows is four. So I'm going to multiply four times four. To help me find the total, I'm going to count how many there are in each row. The first row has four. I'm going to continue counting five, six, seven, eight. Labeling is a helpful choice. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Four times four equals 16, because there are 16 bananas in the array. Letter C, there are, again, 16 bananas all together. Use what we did on number three to help you do number four. Number five, draw an array using factors four and two. Then show a number bond where each part represents the amount in one row. So I need to use the factors or the numbers four and two. Four will be my rows and two will be my size. Four rows of two. One row of two, two rows of two, three rows of two, four rows of two. There's my array. Now I'm going to label the first row has two, the second row four, then six, and finally eight. Four times two equals eight. That's my first part, I drew an array. Now I need to make a number bond where I show each part as a row. So my total of my number bond is eight. I have four rows, so I'm gonna make four lines coming out. In each of my rows, I have two dots. So for each of my parts of my number bond, I'm going to show this as two. 